Hello out there in the world of telecom, data centers, and connectivity. It's the first week of a new month. That means it's time for another edition of JSA's Fast Forward, where we bring you all the biggest headlines from JSA's own industry source. Check it out there on the QR code. It's Telecom News Now, our blog. I'm Jamie Scott Okutaya, CEO and founder of JSA. And I'm Dean Perrine, Executive Vice President at JSA. Thanks for joining us as we broadcast live, that's right, live online via LinkedIn and YouTube through our very own JSA TV newsroom. It's a big month here at JSA. We hosted a, and don't let me forget anything, Jay, we hosted a virtual roundtable about green power, something I know that is near and dear to your heart, and cooling innovation, which was a big hit. Plus, there was a very, very big announcement about the Inc. 5,000, Jamie. Oh, yes. Uh Inc. 5,000 sure was. JSA ranked number 2931. That's 2,931 on our Inc. 5,000 list. And I couldn't be more proud. For those who don't know, the Inc. 500, 5,000 is an annual list of the fastest growing private companies here in the States. And this is the Third year, yes, we're three Peters. Uh, third year in a row where we've made the cut. Over 60 million, something like that, companies yeah. apply. Incredible, incredible job. Huge congratulations to the entire JSA family for all your hard, hard work. And of course, our clients for supporting us all these years. Yeah, uh, we three P. We're like the we're like the championship Chicago Bulls of tech and telecom PR and marketing. Um, but uh, we should also mention that our friends at Dart Points were also on the list, which is a huge testament to their leadership and solutions. So very well well deserved to our friends over at Dart Points. Nice job, guys. Uh, yes, we are in great company. Pun intended. Okay, that's bad. Sorry. All right, good stuff all around. Jamie, should we hit the news now? Let's do it. Okay, we got lots of, honestly, when I was reading this earlier today, I read this as, we've got lots of personal news this month. <laughs> oh. And I thought, no, I don't think that's such a good That's idea. not what we're sharing here today. <laughs> we're not going to discuss any personal news, but we do have lots of personnel news this there month. There you go. So let's get started, Jay. It's all yours. Oh, great. Okay, First, we're going to kick it off with Isia Tope, who welcomed Sharif Al Shinawi as Vice President of Strategic Accounts. His focus over at Isotope will be business development for Tier 1 cloud service providers, as well as engagement with OEMs and chip manufacturers. So way to go, Sharif. Yeah, nice job. And we're going to stick with the uh, Isotope tip. Um, they were also in the news this month for their win at the Mission Critical Top Tier Product Awards. Their COOL, I hope I'm saying this right, their K-U-L acronym sound, looks like COOL. Their COOL Extreme solution took home the thermal management category. So it's a double congratulations to our friends over there at Isotope. Congrats. Yes, indeedy. Hats off to Isotope. Moving on, we also have Zenlayer recently announcing the appointment of Craig Kaplan as their new Senior Vice President of Sales. Craig's new job will be expanding outreach to enterprises and growing Zenlayer's revenue. So congrats, Craig. Nice job, friends. At uh, Zenlayer continuing on the new hire news this mm -hmm. month, EchoSense, I think I got that right, right, Jay? EchoSense yes. introduced Raymond Burrell as Burrell, thank you, Raymond Burrell, as senior sales executive for the company's U.S. team. So congrats to Raymond. Yeah, and I did a, a JSA TV interview with him. He's awesome. Uh, and we should say that announcement comes hot on the heels of EchoSense announcing a new partnership with Packet Power to integrate wireless monitoring solutions. So it sounds like a big news month for EchoSense all around. It does. And you said partnership with Packet Power so well. And then I was just like, oh, I wonder if she's going to get through all the pieces. You, like, you, you did it like a champ, Jay. So in other hiring news, BDX hired uh, Manish Prakash. Um, as uh, as president and chief business officer, he is an experienced leader and former Microsoft executive. We've all heard of them. Microsoft executive who will lead many of BDX's functions across the Asia Pacific. Congrats there. And also we have more exciting executive news from Light River who announced, I love this one, Mike yeah. Jones. 
Mike Jonas, new CEO of Light River. Woo! This is following the retirement of Light River's founder and first CEO, Glenn Johansson. And really, um, you know, Mike um, has uh, has been an incredible leader uh, within Light River for many years. So, um, bringing uh, bringing up from the from the core of the company um, uh, and a, a man who is so customer. Um, oriented just mm. incredible so new era for light river we're looking forward to to watch it yeah honestly mike jonas is like the mayor of telecom city you know what i mean it's just like everybody knows him he knows everybody he treats every single person as if they're a long lost friend and i yeah. and i adore that about him yeah. uh, so uh, awesome congratulations mike there are, uh there's also new hire news from stream data centers they recently named kent Watson as senior vice president and general counsel. Uh, he'll lead a range of legal requirements as well as supervising the internal legal department and outside counsel. That sounds like a lot of stuff I know nothing about, Jamie. <laughs> well, and all good stuff. It's always great to have a really solid lawyer on your side. So well done. Yeah, yeah. That's why I've got, um, you know, Matlock on speed dial. He's a good lawyer, right? Good call. I've got Perry Mason. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, you know, uh, now, now that it's... <laughs> Okay, you know, now that it's nearly fall, Jamie, I'm looking forward to being a bit more of a couch potato. Maybe I'll get really into the old school lawyer show, Law and Order. Is Columbo a lawyer show? <laughs> Aren't you gonna, stop? We may I, need a I lawyer feel like I don't know. <laughs> I'm like moving that aside. I feel like you know you want to get out there this fall, right? There's so many fun fall activities. Who doesn't Apple love picking, the fall? Hey, rides like get out, yep. enjoy. Yeah, nope. That, now that the kids are back in school and football is back on TV, I'm staying, <laughs> staying right here. I do. I love it. I love. I love when, when it's cold outside and, it, and it's warm inside. I love it when there's sporting events and I love snacks. So, uh, yeah. fall is definitely my uh, my season. Well, out here in California, we don't really do seasons that much down down in SoCal. So, I would love to find a corn maze, but I don't think that's a a thing here. I also uh, anyway, yeah. My sweet Ava, our daughter, won't uh, won't be seeing a scarecrow anytime soon, or sipping hot cocoa by a campfire. But or we still we do faux faux stuff. <laughs> faux, faux faux autumn thing. Faux snow. Faux, faux, yeah, everything is faux snow. I think you know TM. Let's make that happen. Um, anyway, okay, moving along. Um, I'll tell you one activity that I'm sure that Uyo and I both love, and that is eating apple pie. Mm, okay, I, I'm in. Yes, I figured you would. <laughs> um, and um, so should we continue on with the news? I feel like we kind of drifted away into news yeah. about jumping into a pile of leaves. So, yeah, yeah, please, dig us out of this, Jay. <laughs> oh, oh, me. Okay, here we go. Let's get into the second half of the show, guys. Thanks for staying tuned with us as we trail off. Uh, second half of the show with some news from Scala Data Centers. Love these guys. They made some waves this month with their latest announcement, a strategic investment of approximately oh, $80 million into its first hyperscale data center in Mexico, which is huge news. Yeah, yeah, big news. Um, there's some other expansion news as well. This time it's from NetNumber. You've heard a lot about them on Fast Forward. The company announced that it has expanded its mobile routing solution, Carrier ID, to Cameroon. Uh, that's right, Cameroon, not Kurt Cameron. <laughs> Cameron. Every time I see the word Cameroon, I think of Kurt Cameron for whatever reason. It's that 80s thing in me. Yeah. Um, they also onboarded several other African, uh, African, European, and Asia Pacific markets, including Austria, Belgium, Hong Kong, and Ghana. That, my friends, is the definition of worldwide. They're everywhere. They took over the world. We're just really we're just good. living in the net number world. I love this. All right. Well, guys, let's go ahead and move over to DF and I who added to its Express Connect network this month. They celebrated a partnership with DataBridge sites, specifically within their campus in Ashburn, Virginia, who came on net and have a really wonderful success story there. So uh, a really great case study to check out. 
Congrats to DFNI. And speaking of new partners, we've also got 1623 Farnham, who recently announced that Vive Broadband, another uh, favorite of JSA, that Vive Broadband joined their ecosystem to enrich connectivity in Nebraska. It's amazing what they're doing to turn Nebraska on further. It's amazing. Okay, our next bit of news is near and dear to my heart. In Volta, whom I love. Involta helped with a fundraiser last month for the Idaho Women in Technology Organization. It was a golf tournament called Idaho Tech Gems Charity Golf Classic, raising, oh, $20,000 sponsored by Involta. So really wonderful, cool thing to do, which is so, so Involta. Love to hear about those philanthropic things going on within our industry. Mm -hmm. It's always awesome to hear about companies doing good deeds like that. But moving on to, <laughs> nice segue, right, Jay? Uh, moving on to some news from Legrand. The, the first bit is that they unveiled a new offering. That's right. It's a new version of their track busway power distribution system called Starline Series S. It actually sounds like a superhero to me. That's right, Starline Series S. The big announcement means that Legrand's system now carries an IP54 ingress protecting protection rating. That's right, Legrand's system now carries an IP54 ingress protection rating. Congrats to our friends over there at Legrand. And we should also mention there's a second bit of Legrand news, uh, which has to do with an update to their KVM switches. There's a new line of them from Legrand called Raritan Secure Switches 4.0, and it's their most protective yet. So again, big things, guys, happening over at Legrand. Yes, congratulations there. Uh, so let's shift gears now to talk about Mutare, who announced this week that they've joined force forces with Genesis, specifically the Genesis solution set called App Foundry. Mutari's voice traffic filter is now available through App Foundry, so even more organizations can use it to manage call center agent call flows. Love that. Okay, yeah. so our last bit of news this month comes back from like River, who announced the completion of a new tech demonstration. It was a multi-vendor interoperability demonstration alongside partner Infinera. The demo is all about how to efficiently run networks that combine various vendors' equipments. The new collaboration was on display at Fiber Connect this month in Florida. Wow, we did it, Jay. We got through the news. Yeah, and there's a lot of difficult words to pronounce. We tried, we tried not to get through it. <laughs> but, but, but alas, here we are. Here uh, we are. All good stuff. There's a lot of great stuff happening in August and September. I know we're already thinking way ahead, but a lot of those things happening in uh, September and October and really through the end of the year. And we've got you guys covered. We've got JSA TV hitting the road. We will be at the Data Cloud ESG Summit in Oslo, which I'm really excited about. That's taking place September 26th, 27th, Oslo, Norway. Uh, good, good kudos over to Data Cloud for doing an ESG Summit. I love that. Um, and again, JSA TV will be live on site for coverage. So make sure you tune into it. And if you're there and you want a JSA TV interview, I think we have a few spots left. So... Let us know. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. There's also some fun virtual events coming up. For instance, Lightpath is hosting a virtual lunch, a virtual lunch and learn session all about the future of seamless connectivity at 12 p.m. EDT on September 14th. Register now for a free lunch voucher. Who doesn't love a free lunch? And hold, hold the horses. Hold the. I don't know. Oh. Hold everything. I'm um, oh, just hold it. <laughs> we we cannot forget next week, Data Cloud USA, Austin, Texas. No. Next week, September 11th through 12th. Um, you guys might have seen uh, over 40,000 views on this one too. Yeah. Um, but our No Before You Go, uh, where we feature Data Cloud. Um, and got an inside uh, Q&A with the organizers of the event, as well as their keynote, uh, who we love. So, I mean, just some, some great content about what type of tips, as well as topics that you might want to brush up on before you, you hit the show. So Data Cloud USA, guys, next week already, September 11th through 12th. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you guys on the road. JSA TV will provide live on-site coverage at that one as well, as Jamie noted. Um, and if you're planning to attend, make sure that you catch 
the oh, <laughs> the JSA is before you go briefing. Everything that Jamie already talked about. <laughs> sorry, I'm just kidding. I want to talk to you about too. I jumped that. Sorry. Oh, that's, that's okay. I wasn't paying any attention. I slept through that one, Jay. I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, before you go, once more, I'm just no before kidding. you go. Just you know before you go. So we will see you next month with another episode of Fast Forward and another batch of industry headlines. And we promise no personal information. <laughs> Only personnel. All right, guys. So long, everybody. Stay safe. Uh, enjoy this fabulous fall and happy networking.